Well, at five, we introduced you to the two candidates vying for the Republican primary in Arizona's 4th Congressional District. It's certainly not the only time we've seen both men on TV lately. Attack ads targeting their respective campaigns have been dominating the airwaves. And tonight, ABC 15's Tim Vetcher takes a look at Congressman Paul Gosar's ad against his opponent, State Senator Ron Gould. I'm Paul Gosar, and I approve this message. Paul Gosar's first TV ad of his re-election campaign starts off by touting his record during his first term in Congress. He's fought new taxes, voted to repeal Obamacare, and pushed through the largest spending cut since World War II. Those are all facts. During his first two years in office, Gosar voted to extend the so-called Bush tax cuts. He also voted to repeal the Affordable Care Act, which Republicans refer to as Obamacare. And the congressman voted to raise the debt ceiling, which also included $2.1 trillion in cuts. We have a spend problem and he hasn't he's been willing to vote for continuing spending I don't go run and hide you know from issues and, and uh, problems like Ron Gould does Ron Gould criticizes Gosar's vote to raise the debt ceiling even though it also included spending cuts Gould claims Gosar's vote quote kicks the can and doesn't solve the real problem in his TV ad however Gosar fires back his opponent Ron Gould used taxpayer money to fund his campaign and was fined by the Clean Elections Commission for not reporting expenditures those are again Again, facts. During his first campaign for the state senate in 2004, Gould accepted tens of thousands of dollars from the Clean Elections Commission, and in June of the following year, he settled with the commission for failing to timely report campaign expenditures. I'm a proven conservative. For his part, Ron Gould's campaign responded to Gosar's claims by saying, quote, we find it hypocritical that Paul Gosar is attacking Ron Gould for using clean elections eight years ago, while in the same ad highlighting the endorsement of Governor Brewer, who used clean elections in her 2010 campaign. Paul Gosar, the conservative we can trust for Congress. I'm Tim Vetcher, ABC 15 News.